many people understand that the articular cartilage is one of the uh, things that causes the bones to glide easily over each other. But even more important than that is actually the joint fluid. So imagine a car engine, like a car engine has oil so the two metals don't rub on each other. And once the oil gets low and if there's no oil, the metal will start producing a heat producing reaction when there's metal on metal and then the engine's going to freeze up and you could totally destroy the engine. The human body is the same way. What happens with the arthritic process is it starts with a ligament injury. When you get a subtle pain like on the, on the side of the knee because you have a little bit of a ligament injury, then when a person's walking, they not only have a compressive force but a, but a shearing force because there's a ligament injury here. That's called joint instability. And another way to look at it is a person now has destructive joint motion. The body, to try to stop that destructive joint motion, is going to swell the joint. So it swells the joint, and now what's in the joint are these inflammatory substances. Those inflammatory substances can long-term injure the cartilage and the meniscus. However, if the person continues to walk on that knee with the destructive joint motion, the forces on the knee will cause other ligaments in the joint to get injured the tendons uh, around the joint will get injured, the meniscus, and ultimately the articular cartilage. So the articular cartilage cells dying, and this is why I call osteoarthritis joint gangrene, because gangrene, everybody knows gangrene is like cells are dying or tissues are dying. So you have to look at osteoarthritis as a whole organ disease. So just injecting stem cells into a joint to cause the articular cartilage to regenerate isn't gonna work effectively long-term. It may work short-term. It's not gonna cure the person because you still gotta resolve the destructive joint motion, plus the, sub, the structures on the outside of the joint, the tendons and ligaments, they have to be stimulated to repair. This is why I'm a strong advocate of comprehensive Hackett Hamal prolotherapy. We'll treat comprehensively all the damaged structures around the joint, including the ligaments, tendons, then we may use some cells like PRP, bone marrow, or lipoaspirate inside the joint to treat the ligaments like the anterior cruciate ligament, treat the meniscus, make the nutritional milieu in the synovial fluid very healing, and then also to do to, for the stem cells and the other substances in the joint to stimulate articular cartilage repair. So a person with bone-on-bone -bone arthritis doesn't need just stem cells in the joint because articular cartilage is more of an end stage kind of a problem. You need to reverse all the bad physiology that caused the osteoarthritis in the first place. And this is why it's really important that you go to someone who does comprehensive Hackett-Hemwall prolotherapy.